good morning everyone so in the previous class we have studied about the uh, function of ecosystem so what are the functions of ecosystem uh, the, uh, the functions are energy flow in an ecosystem food chain food wave ecological pyramid then uh, then our ecological uh, succession okay and and the bio geochemical cycles okay so now i will teach you about the energy flow in the ecosystem how energy flows so energy is essence of every biological activity in the biological world the energy flows from the sun to plants and then to all other organisms so only 1% of total sunlight falling on green plants is utilized in photosynthesis so there is no 100% flow of energy from producer to consumers some energy is always is always lost to environment um, only 1% of the total sunlight falling from the falling on the green plants is utilized in the photosynthesis this is sufficient to maintain all life on this earth okay so there is no 100% flow of energy from producer to consumers some is always lost to environment because of this energy cannot be recycled in an ecosystem it can only it can only flow one way so the flow of energy follows the two laws of thermodynamics okay so what is the first law of thermodynamics the law states that energy neither be created nor be destroyed in the previous chapter in energy resources i have told you that energy the capacity of doing work is called as energy and it cannot be created or destroyed so our first law of thermodynamics also state that the air that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one form to another so similarly as we have read earlier solar energy utilized by green plants who are the producers in photosynthesis converted into biochemical energy of plants and later into that of consumers okay so the producers utilizing the solar energy uh, for their uh, for their uh, production of foods by a process called photosynthesis and which converted into biochemical energy of plants and later it is it comes to the consumers because we are the consumers and we are dependent uh, on the producer for our food next is the second law of thermodynamics what is the second law the the law states that energy transformation involves degradation or dissipation of energy from a concentrated to a dispersed form okay we have seen dissipation of energy occurs at every trophic level okay so there is always a loss of, there is always loss of 90% energy and only 10% is transferred from one trophic level to other okay so this is the second law of the thermodynamics that he it states that the total the entire energy or the total energy is not properly used only the nine um, only the 10 percent energy is transferred from uh, one trophic level to another trophic level and later on also we are going to uh, learn about that what is trophic level so mainly trophic level is that the is that the level the producers the consumers and the decomposers because they are producer are more of the first level then the consumers are the second level and the decomposers are the third level so 90% of the energy is loss and only 10% of the energy is transferred from one trophic level to another so sun is the source of energy and sun is the source of energy which extends radiations from higher frequency to low frequency and approximately approximately 99% of total energy is in the region between uh, uv and ir ultraviolet rays and the visible spectrum spreads over 0.38 Uh, micron to 0.77 micron involving about 
fifty percent of solar radiation. So some autotrophs, though they are the those the producers, ha, however, utilize energy released from oxidation process for the synthesis of organic food. So sun, sun gives the energy radiations. Then it comes to the producers. Then they are utilizing it for metabolisms. For their metabolisms and again it converts into heat energy, chemical energy. Uh, okay, then again our uh, some of the chemical energy comes to the decomposers for the metabolism, and also some chemical energy comes to the consumers. Then the um, then the consumers again it transfer to the heat energy. So this is the this is the source of energy of sun. Okay, so first uh, this is very important, and it uh, energy always follows two rules of thermodynamics. First one is it said that energy can neither be created or, um, or or cannot be created or destroyed, but it can transfer from one form to another. And the second law said that the entire energy which we are getting from uh, which we are getting is the, out of hundred percent, only ten percent is utilizing. and 10% is transferred from one trophic level to another trophic level and the rest 90% is um, um, is getting lost okay approximately 90% energy is lost so this uh, this are the laws so there is um, okay these are the laws of thermodynamics next we are going to study about the energy flow models okay so as we have seen that there is undirectional flow of energy from sun to the producers and the and then various types of consumers okay so therefore behavior of energy in ecosystem can be termed as energy flow okay so what do you mean by energy flow what do you mean by that that the behavior of energy in an ecosystem which can be termed as our energy flow and about 34% of the sunlight reaching to the atmosphere is reflected back into atm into its atmosphere 10% is held by ozone layer uh, ozone layer and uh, where uh, ozone layer water vapor and other atmospheric gases 10% is held by ozone layer water vapor and other atmospheric gases and rest 56% reaches on the earth surface and out of this only 1 to 5% of energy is used by green plants for photosynthesis so rest is again absorbed by absorbed as heat by ground vegetation or water so the flow of energy in an ecosystem can be explained with the help of various energy flow models so this is our energy flow models mainly uh, in this energy flow model we are going to study about that how what are the what is the behavior of energy in an ecosystem and how much energy is um, how much energy we are utilizing and how much it is how much we are using it we are going to study so the flow of energy can be explained through various energy flow models and uh, we are going to study about the odom's energy flow model and lindman's energy flow model flow model so they explain that how much energy is transferred from one trophic level to another trophic level how much percentage of energy odoms explain that and how much percentage of energy is uh, waste okay and uh, um, how the, how it transferred from one trophic level to another like uh, from green plants to herbivores herbivores to carnivores okay so these things he explain and lindman's energy flow model he mainly explained it uh, the undirectional energy flow model of phase water ecosystem so his was that the how the solar how much amount of solar radiations producers can utilize okay so we are uh, how the what is the amount of grass production okay so mainly odoms give the energy on the land surface how the energy flows in land and second one is um, lindmans who gave his energy flow models in uh, energy flow direction in uh, the fresh water okay that how much energy 
we are gaining from the solar radiation then how much we are using in autotrophs how uh, the next uh, how much is used by the herbivores and how much is again used by the carnivore carnivores and how much is unutilized and how much is used for respiration and how much is used for decomposition okay thank you